Understanding your search results. So now that you've got your research question and search string all figured out, it's time to use that search string to find some sources. Start by going to a database, entering your search terms in the boxes, and changing the Boolean operators, those magic words, and, or, and not, depending on what you're looking for. So you have a bunch of article titles. Awesome. But now what? No matter what database you're searching in, they all have similar features. There is usually a list of articles in the middle of the page, some filtering options on the left or right, and links for how you can get the article. Those filtering options can help if you have a lot of results or you know you need a specific type of article. For example, if your instructor has said to only use peer-reviewed academic articles, you can find and apply those filters. Once you've applied all the filters you need, scan the list of titles and look for your chosen search terms. They don't have to be an exact match, but the main concepts should still be there. You can tell a lot about an article by its title. Some you know you can throw out right away, while others look good enough to investigate further. For any article you want to know more about, just click on the title to read a summary, also called the abstract. If you don't feel like you're having any success finding articles, check out our video on reworking a failed search or ask a librarian. Otherwise, read on and search strong.